One of the most seasoned professional traders uses a little known, underappreciated, and underutilized indicator that consistently gives him precise entries. And in this video, he's going to teach you exactly how to use it. I'm Mike Bellafuri, and we're one of the top proprietary trading firms located in New York City since 2005, and now Miami as well, and proud to have developed number seven and even eight figure per year traders. Watch, take notes, and learn from a pro SMB trader so you can grow your trading account. Take a moment to look at this daily chart of NVIDIA. Notice how well price respects this line. This is a strong stock and strong stocks tend to respect this line. And we use this to our advantage to contextualize and set up trades. It's a powerful tool and I'll show you exactly how we're using it in this market to buy strong stocks. This is a great tool to navigate the current market environment that we're in right now. All right, so right now we have powerful election catalyst that's broken out many groups and an earnings season that is breaking a lot of stocks out of long bases. Many of the best stocks right now are running. And if we want to get long, we're going to have to have the proper context for these trades. The name of this tool is Anchored VWAP. It's one of my favorite tools out there, and you can get it on pretty much any platform. It may look like a moving average, but it's not. There are two reasons I like Anchored VWAP more than any moving average. So it factors in volume. And so it measures the average price of all participants from a certain point. And this helps me gauge whether buyers or sellers are in control. And it's cumulative measure from a specific inflection point, not a rolling average like a moving average. And this allows me to customize it so that it measures whether buyers or sellers are in control from a significant event. And this is the key. So this is my favorite way to use anchored VWAP. So simply put, VWAP measures the volume weighted average price. If there's more volume, those prices will be proportionally weighted higher in the calculation. And if there's less volume, those prices will be proportionally weighted lower in the calculation. The net result of this is the average transaction in the stock. And anchored VWAP lets us start this calculation from any point in time. Now, I want to share with you how I've been using Anchored View App in this market to execute trades. The Anchored View App has always been a key variable in the systematic way we manage earnings day one breakout trend trades. And I'll show you how we do this in the video. And we can apply this same exact principle to the hot market we're in right now. So not only have there been some great earnings plays this season, but there have been a number of explosive breakouts from the election catalyst, right? And there will be probably more. So trend trades are sometimes hard to manage. Sometimes they're hard to stay in or hard to get in. And we want to use Anchored View App to help us stay in a swing trade. We want to use Anchored View App to help us nail a pullback in an exceptionally strong trend. And we want to use Anchored View App to tell us that it's time to get out. And I'll demonstrate how we do all of these things. So by the end of this video, you'll understand just how powerful this tool is. And you'll be able to use it to set up your trades, no matter what kind of playbook you trade. So my favorite platform for Anchored View app is TradingView. All you have to do is hover over the toolbar on the left of the chart and click the drawing tools, scroll down to volume based, and you'll see Anchored View app. If you click on that, then it allows you to click on any candle on the chart and anchor the VWAP from that candle. So the reason I love anchored VWAP method for earnings plays is that the earnings announcement is such an obvious anchor from which to measure buyers and sellers. The more volume on the earnings release, the better. So I like to see at least 20% of the stock's average daily volume print in the after hours. And 50% or 70% is even better. By the way, after hours percent AVOL is a metric I've tested and used in my live models. The amount of relative volume a stock does on its earning press release is a huge tip off to the magnitude of the significance of the report and the kind of participants that will be in the market once the bell rings. So anchoring a VWAP from this point and using it as a guide on an earning swing trade has proven to be a fantastic tool. 
to not only frame the trade, gain some contextual understanding of trend and potential support, and visualize where it could trade without violating the momentum from the news, but also to serve as a very systematic trailing stop for the position. So when we get a daily bar close below this VWAP level, my rule is to cut at least half. I can't tell you how many times this has saved me from full losses and helped me stay in winners, right? The best ones hold this level and keep going. So let's take a look at some examples. Here's Twilio, a recent earnings breakout that we were involved with. Now, this is a beautiful daily chart breakout, a clean long base that goes back multiple years and then it breaks out with a catalyst on volume, right? So this is textbook, something we might want to get long. But how can we frame this trade on a shorter time frame? We anchor the view app from the earnings announcement. And this is where buyers came in. This is where the move started. And this is the inflection point for the catalyst. So from this point, buyers should remain in control. How can we tell if buyers are in control? Well, price holds this level. Now, before we go any further, I wanna show you a little trick, a little tweak to the view app that I always do. Instead of calculating the normal view app, which uses the high, low, open, close of the candles, for strong stocks in an uptrend, I like to anchor the view app that calculates using the lows of the candle. And you can do this easily in TradingView by right-clicking on the view app go to settings and change the source to low. It's a subtle difference. It adjusts the view app about half an intraday ATR lower. And I think this is often a better representation of support in the stock. So the earnings are released, right? We anchor the view app from this candle and it works on any time frame. Here I'm looking at a 15 minute time frame with the overnight trading shown. It trades higher in the after hours and pre-market and then trades on day one. Now, this day one happened to be messy and that close is not fun, right? If I'm too zoomed in here, I'm gonna lose sight that this is breaking out on the higher time frame, and that buyers are in control. And we can see here that all price action is still holding the VWAP from the earnings announcement, the blue line on this chart. But check out what happens on day two. If we carry this context over to day two, we have a level that represents excellent risk reward if Twilio is going to stay strong, right? So it dips off the open and immediately reclaims, a setup that many traders will take on the desk. But the fact that this is dipping into the key VWAP level makes this trade so much better because we know it has to hold here. And if it does, then the stock should trade higher off this level. Now let's check out another earnings play we were involved with, and I'll show you how we manage the swing trade. So here's Oracle from last quarter. Look at how well it respects the view app from the earnings release. And it does this for months. When we buy an earnings breakout on day one, like we did here, we will trail our stop on closes below this view app, and this helps us stay in the trade. Now here's PLTR from this quarter. Same thing, right? If you're long from day one, you have no reason to think that sellers have taken control of this stock. Of course, you might be taking profits along the way, but if you're looking to keep on a runner, this is a great way to do it. So how do we get long on day one? So check out the dip in reclaim at the open, right into our view app from the report. It doesn't get all the way to it, but again, this context lets us know where we are and it tells us a lot about the risk reward in the trade because we now know it needs to hold this level all right so now let's take a look at app this stock has been an absolute monster extremely strong on the daily chart and then a big gap up on a blowout earnings report and i admit on the daily chart it looks like it's in outer space to me but if we pay attention to the price action since the report it becomes easier to get some context if we want to get long. So look at how cleanly this held the view app from the earnings announcement. It tested it on day one and rallied off it into the close. Now this may not be your ideal entry, right? It's at the close, it's a bit choppy, like after that opening drive, right? But what about day two? It dips back towards the view app and immediately reclaims at the open. 
So noticing a pattern, this is the same pattern we saw on Twilio on day two and PLTR on day one. It doesn't quite get there, but this is a fantastic risk reward spot within a very powerful intraday pattern. Now let's look at root from this quarter. This one is wild. It ran from 80 to 116 intraday before it topped out. If we're long this stock, looking to swing it, where might we cut the trade? Right? It breaks down from that lower high consolidation through VWAP from the earnings announcement. No dice, right? It sold a lot more after this and has been holding below this level now for multiple days. Maybe if it reclaims this VWAP level, right, the trade might be back on the table, but until then, there's no reason for me to think that buyers are in control. All right, so now that you can see how we use the anchored view app to trade earnings, let's translate this concept to what's happening in this current market. So recently, we've had an election that served as a powerful catalyst for certain groups. So naturally, we want to anchor the view app from the overnight rally that started when the market decided that Trump was going to win. So let's look at Bitcoin. The election catalyst broke Bitcoin out to new all-time highs, right? This is huge. This has been a huge trade, right? Many of us were not trading overnight when this broke out. Notice how the first pullback after the breakout retests and holds the view app from the election catalyst. And it continues to hold this view app as it consolidated for a few days before breaking out again and running. So this kind of context can increase the risk reward in the trade. Right? We don't have to be anchored to prices that we missed at the start of the move below the breakout level. All we have to do is frame the trade around the view app from the catalyst. And I might be watching this view app level now as it resets for a place to re-enter the trade. Because look, if your play is to buy a pullback, then you can use this anchored view app as a major level of interest. And as I've said before, check out Brian Shannon's work. He's the master at using Anchored View App to his advantage. And he's a friend of the firm. He likes to say something like, don't buy the dip, buy the strength after the dip. And I think this is a great way to attack this kind of trade. Now let's look at Tesla, same thing. On day one, it sold into this View App, dipped below and reclaimed immediately, spending the rest of the day and the overnight session holding this View App in a tight range. This sets the trade up for continuation. And I might be watching this view app level now as it resets for a place to re-enter the trade, right? Same as Bitcoin. Here's Geo, another catalyst that broke out on the election. It held the view app in the pre-market. It traded off of it on day one, dipped back through it in the pre-market on the next day and opened right at this level on day one. So similar to Twilio, PLTR, and App, this level gives us great risk reward context for this day two opening drive. So you can see by now this is pure context, which is crucial for framing our trades and understanding if buyers or sellers are in control and where buyers might come in. I've built tools around this concept, view apps that automatically anchor from swing highs and swing lows, view apps that show both the normal view app and the view app calculated using the highs or lows of the candles. And I share these indicators in our Bionic Trader meetings on Tuesdays and outline how we use them to make money. So if you wanna join us, check out Inside Access. So you're an active trader, not doing as well as you want, not doing as well as you deserve, and you just can't figure out why you can't become profitable no matter how hard you try. Well, let me show you why. This is your competition. The traders in this room, this room right here is full of elite traders, some of whom are making seven and even eight figures a year. In fact, our top guys have made nearly 20 million each in net trading profits in a single year. Let's head to my office so I can share more. So you're probably used to seeing videos of lavish trader lifestyles, trading gurus, trading off of the laptop for an hour a day, heck, maybe even 15 minutes a day, and then them relaxing on some secluded beach for the rest of the day. Well, all I can tell you is that our traders train like pro athletes. They live and breathe the markets and are continually working on their trading skills. Because at our firm, that's what we found it really takes to make it in this game. I'm Mike Bellafiori, co-founder and managing partner of SMB Capital, one of the world's top proprietary trading firms located in Midtown Manhattan. 
and we're always looking for trading talent to hire and develop. And not just to trade in-house on our desk, but also to trade from their own home, entirely using our firm's capital. And we have numerous traders doing just that, allowing them to make upwards of seven figures trading the firm's capital without risking their own money. But to even get a shot at something like that, you need to have the right training. That's why we're doing a new free online presentation in which we share how you can get an interview with SMB to become an in-house or remote trader, trading firm capital without risking yours and gaining access to all of our firm's coaching and resources. And the best part, you don't have to be a profitable trader yet. In fact, we prefer to mold profitable traders with our methods and our techniques. That's why we have just three simple criteria that can earn anyone an interview. We're looking for highly ambitious and determined traders who fit our culture first and foremost. So if you believe that could be you, sign up for the free one hour online presentation by clicking the link that's in your top right corner of your screen now.